This is a follow-up to the video I published two days ago about the Nitro Pack service to speed up your website, where we had an incredible improvement in site speed by using this plugin. Even in the comments below the video, you guys have tried it out and you've seen some incredible results. I recommend you check out that video if you haven't yet. There's a link in the description and the card up above. And this video right here is where I answer the three most common questions I've been getting in the comments that seem to be appearing over and over again. So I thought more of you may have this question, so I thought I'd address it with a quick video. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and comment and like to help this video rank better. And we're getting started right now. The most common question in the comments was, can NitroPack replace all the other caching plugins, optimization plugins on a website? because that would make people's lives so much easier. And the answer is almost. What it cannot do is replace the scaled images capability or adaptive image capability, and it cannot clean up your database, at least at this point. It's a brand new service. They might add that in the future. But for right now, I would use NitroPack to replace things like WP Rocket, WP Fastest Cache, uh, W3 Total Cache, WP Super Cache. All those caching plugins can be replaced by NitroPack and NitroPack is easier to set up, frankly, and it works a lot faster and a lot better, I think. But you still want to have something like Short Pixel Adaptive Images, which has a free version and also paid versions. There's a link in the description down below where you can sign up for a free version of the Short Pixel Adaptive Images, and you get 50% more optimizations for images with that link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do get credit, but even for the free account, you get more optimizations just using that affiliate link, so you might as well get more stuff for free. And the other one is Optimal, does the same thing. What these do is they make images on your site the right size for the space they're in on the fly. So you don't have to do that. In the past, you'd either have a recommendation in GT Metrics that says scale your images to proper sizes, and you just ignore it because it's hard to do. You have to do it manually using things like Photoshop or a different image editing program. But these plugins now do it for you on the fly, and they serve their images via CDN. So they're super fast. They make the images the right size, and GT Metrics is happy. And that is one of the big things that NitroPack cannot do. It cannot scale your images to the right size. It does optimize them. It does lazy load them if you have those features enabled but it cannot scale them. The other thing you want to do is have an optimization plugin for your database, like WP Optimize. I have a video on the channel linked to in the description down below where I show you how to use this plugin. And this you would use once in a while, maybe once a quarter, every six months or so. And you just use it to clean up things like revisions in your database, expired transients, WordPress tables from plugins that you don't have anymore, orphan tables they're called. And just things like that it helps your database perform faster. NitroPack cannot do that. So if you're going to go with NitroPack for your client work, which is a great service to go with, I recommend getting something like Short Pixel Adaptive Images or Optimal. They both do the image scaling on the fly. And then also WP Optimize for your database. This one you'd install on your site every once in a while. Clean your database, then you can remove it again. And one of these two you would have on there all the time. So you always have those images scaled properly whenever they're served to your visitors. The other very common question I've been receiving is for the optimizations. These price points and number of optimizations per month are subject to change. But as of this moment right now, with the free account, you get 5,000 page optimizations, and that's per month. And then here for this first level, you get 20,000 per month, and so on. Those can change, like I said. but the question I've been getting is what is an optimization? What qualifies as an optimization that counts towards that limit? And that is just when a page is optimized. So you have a page that's served to your visitor, say your homepage, for example, that page counts as one optimization, and then it's cached. And then the next visitor that comes to that homepage, they see the cached version. That does not count as optimization, they're just seeing the cached version. And so every time you change your homepage, NitroPack detects that, they re-optimize, to include those changes, they cache it, and then they serve that cached version. If you had 50 pages on your site, for example, and you never change them, you'd have 50 optimizations that you use out of your 5,000 for the free account. And if you never change them, you would never have to re-optimize. But the likelihood is you're going to change something. You're going to add pages. You're going to do stuff. But if you never change an optimized page, there's no reason for NitroPack ever to update that page in the cache. So it keeps serving the existing page in the cache. On the other hand, if you have a page with 50 posts or 50 pages and you update them once a week, that means every week you'll be doing 50 optimizations because every time a page is updated, it's re-optimized. So then you'd have 200 optimizations in that month. And you can see how if you have a larger site with a lot of changes happening, those optimizations can add up pretty quickly. 
But even so, for most websites I've encountered, for, for business websites, things like that, 5,000 optimizations goes a very long way. Another very common question I've been receiving is, can you add more sites? And the answer is yes, you can. If you log into the dashboard, and you sign up for a free account, and you log in, and up in the upper right corner here, you can click on new website, you just add a new website URL, let's say this one, let's call it this, and click on add website. And now we have a new website added that adds that site automatically to the free account. You get 5,000 optimizations right now. And so we have this one over here. This one's 5,000 and the new one's 5,000. And you can upgrade the plans individually. So you can upgrade just this one to a paid account because it needs more optimizations. You can have this one stay as it is on the free plan because that's enough for this website. I'm sure there's an upper limit to how many sites you can add to your Nitro Pack account. I just don't know what that limit is. And I'm pretty sure for most people, if you have 10 sites you can add to this, that's more than enough. If you're an agency, you'd need a lot more, but if you're an agency, you could also just have multiple Nitro Pack accounts. Even as an individual, you could have multiple Nitro Pack accounts and have a certain number of sites in each one. So those are the three most common questions I've been getting. Just wanted to make a video for those so everybody saw the answers. And just to summarize, the first question was, can I replace my existing caching plugins with Nitro Pack and get rid of all other optimization plugins? And the answer is yes, kind of. I still recommend you have an adaptive image plugin and a database cleaning plugin that you use once in a while. And the other question was, what does optimization really mean? And what counts towards an optimization in our monthly limit? And can we add more websites in one Nitro Pack account? So those are the answers to the three most common questions I've been receiving about Nitro Pack, the video I did two days ago. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And make sure you comment and like this video to help it rank better because we all like better ranking videos. And next up is checking out this video up here, which is the Nitro Pack video that this one is a follow-up for. If you haven't watched that yet, check it out. This is the video down here that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.